How you doing today? Welcome to Mo's Math. Today we're going to discuss fitting takeoffs for non-conventional fittings. We have a 45 degree fitting, Victalic, Groove Lock, whatever, whatever manufacturer, and we won't have to look in the book. So, what do we need to solve this? Well, let's look at it. In any type of pipe fitting problem, always remember you need one side and one angle, and the rest will be history. So let's break down some triangles in this 45 degree fitting. The whole fitting is 45 degrees. As you can see, half the angle of fitting in this case is 22.5. So if you come off the face perpendicular one way and perpendicular the other way, they're going to bisect in the middle, cutting this fitting into two 22, two 22 and a half degree triangles. So now that we have one angle, we need one side now. So what do we know about the purple side? You can see here the purple side. Okay, that's the fitting radius. Okay, the purple side is the fitting radius. How are we going to find it? Well, we don't know it, but we got to find it. So, let's get a square. Two foot square, you can use a tri-square blade, you can even use a level. In this particular illustration, we're going to use a two-foot square. Put the square on the face of the fitting, as you could see. The fitting's on a flat ground. And we're going to take the square, and we're going to bring it down until it hits the ground, flat table, or whatever we're on. Okay? Bring it down until it hits the ground. Where it hits the ground, we're going to mark it. We're going to call that the vertex. From this point on, don't move the fitting, and you'll see why. So mark the ground where it hits the fitting. Soapstone pencil marker. This point is the vertex of, of the two sides. A vertex is a point where two straight lines or rays meet. Okay. Trace or outline the OD of the fitting on the ground. In this case, we're using a soapstone holder. Don't move the fitting. We need that vertex mark. You'll see it in the next slide. Remove the fitting now. Lift it up. It's been traced. This is your plan view. You have the outline of the OD of the fitting, and you have your vertex line. Now we're going to take our measuring device, inside read rule, tape measure, and we're going to cut half of the OD and let the ruler do our math. So we're holding it at two and a quarter, so our OD must have been four and a half. Now we're going to measure back to that vertex line. As you can see here in this illustration, we have six inches. So the tape measure should be in the center of that circle or half of the OD. Measure back to the vertex line. The six inch represents your radius of the fitting, which we did not know until we put the square on. Okay, you could do this with any type of fitting. We don't need to look in any reference book for the takeoff of this fitting. <coughs> So the six inches the radius, the purple line is the radius, and the radius will be measured six inches from both sides if you did this right. In the Pipe Trades Pro, the purple line is the run in relation to angle A. You can see down here angle A. Okay, the purple line is the run in relation to angle A. With the Pipe Trades Pro, the green line is the offset in relation to angle A. The green line is the offset. 
The green line is the fitting takeoff, or what we call the center of the face. So you see some different words used for the same line. It's all the same thing. Center of the face, takeoff, offset. So if we take our pipe trades pro and we convert clear, we can put six inches in as the run, 22.5 is the angle slope. When we press the offset, we get two and a half inches. Keep in mind we had one side, one angle, enabling us to find all the sides and all the angles in that triangle. So let's repeat this, convert clear. Six inches is the run. 22.5 is the reference angle. Press the offset. Two and a half inches is the center of the face to take off or the offset. <coughs> this can be used for any type of fitting. Here we have a flange fitting. You can use the same steps. Notice we've never talked about any pipe size in this because it does not matter what the pipe size is. The rules in the theory and the steps are the same. You have a flange fitting, maybe 125 pound flat face. Okay, you can take your square, run it across the face, bring it to the ground, mark it, apply the rules, put the run in, put half the angle of turn in, press offset, that'll give you the fitting takeoff. You can even apply it for socket weld fittings. Same theory, find the radius, put in half the angle of fitting for the angle of slope, and press the offset, and you're done. PVC, all sorts of fittings. Copper, anytime you're guessing, be a professional, do it right, a little bit of math, not much. Take the Pipe Trades Pro, apply it, and you'll be a rock star. Hope this helped you. There'll be more of this to come. Talk to you soon.